boys and girls. I hope you're all doing great. Do you like stories? I think everybody likes stories. And the very best stories you'll ever hear are from the Bible. I have the Beginner's Bible here, and you might have this Bible at your house. It's full of wonderful pictures and stories that we're going to share together. You know what's amazing about Bible stories? Even if you think you know everything about them, there's always something new to learn and something new to look at. We're going to start today with the very first Bible story. And we wish that we could do these at church or in children's worship, but right now we can't. But it's okay, because you can see them at your house. So, let's get started. I'm going to need your help to start with the very first story. I want you to close your eyes and cover them with your hands, and don't peek. And tell me what you see. Nothing. It's dark. And that's how our story begins. Because a long, long, long time ago, there was nothing there. There were no people or flowers or trees or not even a sky or a sun. But someone very special was there. And that was God. And God had a plan. God decided he wanted to make a world. And even though there was nothing there, God could do it. He could make everything out of nothing because God can do anything. And so God said, let there be light. Move your hands, open up your eyes if you haven't already. And when God said, let there be light, there was light. God separated the light from the darkness, and he called the light day, and he called the darkness night. And that was what God created on day number one. On day number two, God created something big and blue. And it's way up high. And if you guessed or you knew it was the sky, you're right. And God put clouds in the sky and he made the waters. And that was what God made on day number two. On day number three, God separated the waters and he made some oceans and rivers and seas and he made the land. He made mountains, and he made deserts, and islands, and beaches, and beautiful grass, and beautiful flowers of every color, pink, and purple, and orange, and red. And he made tall trees. He made fruit that we can eat, like apples, and oranges, and peaches, and strawberries. And he made vegetables like potatoes, and carrots and beans and corn. And you can think of your favorite vegetable or fruit that God made. What's your very, very favorite one? And that's what God made on day number three. And it was all very good. On day number four, <clears throat> God put lights up in the sky. He put a fiery hot sun to shine in the day. And he put a sparkling moon and twinkling stars for the nighttime. And that was very good too. And that was day number four. On day number five, God filled the water with fish and all kinds of sea creatures. There were big fish and there were some little fish and sharks and seahorses and crabs, and lobsters, and octopus, and all kinds of fish to swim around in the seas. And then, up in the sky, God put birds. He put birds that could talk and sing. Here's a toucan. He put small birds, like these yellow birds, and robins, and sparrows. And he put birds that can walk on the land, too and they were pretty flamingos and other birds. And all that God made on day number five was good. 
on day number six. God made animals. He made lions and tigers and elephants and giraffes. And he made little animals like dogs and cats and bunnies and squirrels. And here's some pigs. And he made a raccoon and some other animals too. And he made all of those animals to live in this beautiful world. But God wasn't done yet. God decided he wanted someone that could talk to him and pray to him and praise him and love him. So God created a man. The man's name was Adam. And he was the first man that God created. But God knew that Adam would need a helper and a friend. So when Adam was sleeping, God created a woman and her name was Eve. And they were the first people. That was a very busy day number six. And God saw that all that he had created was very good. On day seven, the Bible tells us that God rested from all that he had made and he made day number seven holy. I hope you like that story. It's a really good one that I've known for a very long time, but I always love to hear it and tell it because it amazes me of all those things that God made out of nothing. And God is so awesome and wonderful. And you know one of the best things that God created? He made you. And he made you special and he made you one of a kind, and he loves you very much. So thank you for listening. We're gonna have some more stories, but for now, have a great day. See you soon. Bye.